you know the economy is booming when people take to the greens in increasing numbers. India may boast of only 150,000 people who play golf regularly, a tiny fraction of the population, but this is expected to grow rapidly. India is, uh, as you know, a very promising market right now, especially for golf. Uh, there's a few things which are coming together for India. If you look at the economic development in the last few years, which has resulted in higher income levels, and more and more people are looking for a game like golf to be part of their lifestyle. Golf is still an expensive sport here, with the most basic golf set costing three month salary for an average Indian. But unlike traditional golf markets, like the US, Europe and Japan, where the sport is played by an older population. In India, it is growing popular among youngsters from middle-class families, keen to take it up as a career. Many junior players are regularly competing in tournaments, in India and abroad. Parents, too, are keen to encourage their children to become career golfers. Classes cost $130 a month, but that's not stopped kids as young as four from being enrolled in training programmes. I come from school and 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 uh, come here to play golf. Why? Mama says play golf. I have to play nine holes, eighteen holes a day. But building more golf courses is essential to increase the accessibility of the sport. There are only about two hundred courses across India, and these are limited to the elite few who can afford expensive private clubs. A five-year membership here can set you back $18,000. Public courses do exist, where enthusiasts can play for just $6 a day, but these are very few in number. If you look at Delhi Golf Club or some of the other popular clubs, there's waiting lists of about 35 years. So that's not a happy situation at all for a brand like us, but the way things are changing, there's almost like 50 new golf courses and driving ranges which are either being planned or being built right now. So that's what you know uh, makes us very bullish about India. Golf is also getting a boost from real estate developers who are building luxury residences alongside golf courses. Here at the DLF Golf and Country Club outside Delhi, the prices of apartments start at $1 million. Golf courses in isolation don't make money worldwide. It's always the real estate around it that actually, you know, uh, justifies for that kind of a land to be used. Big business is also getting involved in organising tournaments, with the total prize money on offer going up by over 250% in the last three years. The most anticipated one is the $2 million Avantha Masters, which is a European tour event. More and more sponsors are coming in wanting to take up tournaments and we are now actually facing the reverse problem that we just don't have enough weekend slots available that we can give it you know, to a sponsor. So that is causing price money to rise uh, as sponsorship bids uh, go up. All right? It's a very aspirational sport, so any brand that is aspirational in terms of high net worth or individuals is, is very keen to do that. With the inclusion of golf in the 2016 Olympics, the Indian government is now expected to join the bandwagon and fund subsidised training programmes. Both golf enthusiasts and corporates will be betting on this to boost the sport's popularity even further.